Uh, hi guys, so another blind bag. Um, this time it's micro drifters, um, obviously to do with cars from Disney. Um, I have to say I wasn't so keen on the movie, but hey, that's you know that's you know that's my opinion. But it was a good it was good made. I was just I just didn't you know it's not. I'd rather watch a horror film any day, so you know, I'm just, you know, um, but I'm not actually sure what these are, it's like, they just, it does a secret, ve um, secret vehicle inside, and it's in, has a lot of languages on the front of it, I'm guessing in like German and Italian and all sorts like that, because obviously, you know, it's obviously for different countries, but, um, yeah, it's just a lot of random rubbish on the back about, you know, don't get giving this to people under the ages of three. I mean, you're not stupid. But, yeah, try and open it. Right, take the paper out first. And it's... But I'm not too sure what all that stuff is at the back, but um, it's got all the cars that you can get and stuff. I'm thinking it's like, well, they've got a lot of, um, like, the names of, like, the cars and stuff, but there's a lot of names for the cars and stuff and it's a bit confusing of what exactly this is for but ah um okay um this is throwing me a bit because I've never it's like a normal little plasticky kind of car but it's got this weird ball on the bottom like you know like the mice have like when well the mice used to have like now they're all like laser stuff but I'm guessing it's to maybe a magnetic thing for something or something maybe this is supposed to go on a big track of some some sort or it's just to help it go along. Hmm, I'm going to probably have to look them up because I have another one here but it's just a bit weird. These are these are actually throw me a bit because I have never seen stuff like this before. Because you know I've just I've never seen things like this before. So bit, bit same paper again. Um, different car though, which is nice. Um, so again, it's you know it's got the metal ball on the bottom which I'm not too sure what the metal ball is for but hey if anyone can enlighten me on these things then go right ahead I'm thinking it's just for a way for it to move along somehow or it's supposed to you know it's supposed to be for something but yeah I'm gonna have to look these up because they don't because there's nothing on the there's nothing on the paper about them or anything. It was. It's just like. I think it's like where they're from and stuff, and like. Like if they're a spy or if they're from the Grand Prix Mundale or if they're from the Piston Cup or the Radiator Springs and. Eh. Slightly confused, but hey. That's uh, not a uncommon occurrence, but yeah, these are pretty well made. I've got to say, for like blind bag toys, sometimes the blind bag toys can be a bit rubbish, and these things, you know, pretty decent. Um, I'm not a fan of cars. This is the thing. Like I said, I'm not a fan of cars, but you know, they're. They really, that, that silver ball thing is really throwing me up. Either I'm being really stupid or there isn't a thing to it. It's just like, it's a help, it's just a way to move it along and stuff. It probably is. Because obviously the wheels don't move. The wheels are like stuck in place and stuff. So, But, 
yeah, um, if anyone has any hints on what the hell these are, please tell me. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously, another blind bag. I'm loving, I love blind bags. I absolutely adore them because they're just, you know, there's something about opening up something that you just don't know what the hell it is. You know, there's no picking and choosing. You get what you get and you live with it kind of thing more than anything. And it's like, you know, your kids can't argue over these things because, well, you know, it's a blind bag. You know, you can't, well, I mean, I suppose kids can be a bit thingy about them. But, you know, if I say if you see any of these for a decent price, I'd say for a little kid, yeah, they're quite decent. Obviously, they've got to be over three years old because that's what it says on the packaging and to be honest a lot of kids would stick these probably in their mouths and they are quite small I mean compare it to one of the Lego figures and it is like you know it's about the same size as you know smaller than a Lego figure kids will probably eat it so you know by the way that was from the previous blind bag these are from previous the previous video on the blind bags and I've just thrown them everywhere but yeah, these are from the previous video, so if you want to see me open up the uh, blind bags for whatever this, um, I think it's person with a monkey or whatever it was. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to see if I can get the camera to go a bit better. There we go, that's a bit better, you can actually see them a bit more in detail now, sorry about that. But yeah, the see silver ball on the bottom, and it's... It's like a computer mouse kind of thing, so I, I don't know, it's like what well, used to be, used to be, kids nowadays don't understand the whole problem we used to have with the whole having to take apart the, the mouse to get the ball out and that, you know, but oh well, you know, it's, uh, those are the ways the world goes, but um, yeah, these are pretty decent, you know, for what they are and for how much I'm paid, I think I paid only about 50p for these each. So, you know, good old home bargains, they uh, give you bits and pieces for really cheap nowadays. But um, I will probably go looking there again for some more blind bags, um, hopefully soon. Because I love blind bags, like I said, I love them and, you know, I, I enjoy opening up blind bags. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.